Football Mobile Welcome everybody, Drake Hawkins with you, and today we're going to be starting some Myth of Empires. This game has been uh, on my... Uh, uh, um, on my fun playlist for a while here. I've been uh, I've been enjoying this. Well, I haven't had time to uh, do proper recordings and stuff, but today I'm uh, resetting my character. I actually did the delete already, so he's back to ground zero. We're on an official server, or we will be, I guess, on an official server, um, where uh, some of our clansmen are playing. Some of the uh, clan Hawkins folks are here. Here's our fantastic dude in his skibbies with his hawk on his chest because, you know, tattoos are awesome, I guess. Uh, you can, like, seriously tattoo them all over the place. He's a bit dirty, kind of suits. Uh, fantastic beard that disappears every time he puts a helmet on, so we'll probably just run around dangerously with a helmet off. So what this is going to be is going to be a playthrough rather than a tutorial guide sort of thing. I will, however, be spamming the crap out of every bit of content or every bit of information that I can manage to throw at you uh, for, for the noobs and for myself. Uh, we are going to be on server 30 here. There's actually, yeah, as of when I started originally on this, there was a, these all said new. So these two servers right here, if you want to start brand spanking new, where you're not going to be dealing with other players, like if I click on this one, um, server protection time is 26 days. So nobody can transfer in from other servers or move in permanently from these uh, to these servers. You have to start a fresh zero level character there. So there's also some new ones up in the Asia category or department in the east, I guess. Uh, trying to move over around this map is a little weird. There we go. Uh, we got another new EU one in the north there. Uh, so if you're interested in a new server, that's the way to go. We're going to be in Yangzhou. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce any of this properly, but the uh, server is this one. And uh, then you can look and there's a whole bunch of different uh, Shards, I guess, counties associated with it. We're going to go to Chunga. I think that's how that's pronounced. So that's the one we're going into. Um, I'm going to try to give you as much useful information for a beginner's guide type of a thing, but it is a playthrough, so I'm not going to be snipping through, doing cuts from various different things. It's going to be actually me playing through, and I want to continue that process long term as we go through this. So we're going to go to North Mountain 1. Eventually, I want to get over to this area where our clan is, kind of over... Eh, are they down here? Are they up here? Somewhere around this very general area is where our clan is. But for the first probably three or four episodes, uh, we're going to be doing um, single player, basically, in here. Uh, so this is novice mode recommended. I appreciate it because that means if I'm talking being dumb and not paying attention, I will happily be able to uh, respawn where I started. I'm going to go and do your standard uh, survival game. So this is a open world survival uh, game, very, very much akin to uh, your Conan or Ark or other games of the sort. Uh, and so we're going to start doing the normal thing, just spamming the daylights out of picking everything up. Uh, tons and tons of great tutorial content in here. So uh, in the game, not like Drake's great tutorial content. I usually just kind of hash my way through things, but whatever. Um, what we're going to be doing is walk, looking in the top right there where we can see the press L. There you go. Already got a level. Um, uh, press L there to block, to close this thing. No, nope, that to open that up. This is the journal to close that. Uh, L to open up your quest. So we've got uh, a whole bunch of things going on. I'm going to give you kind of throw it at you as it comes up. Hopefully that'll be useful for you. So in the top right there it says select. Uh, a skill you want your expertise. Okay, so we're going to hit, uh, we're going to hit L for, to bring up our tab here. We're going to go up here to the talents and skills. Um, what's happened? We actually have three right now. We, you start with two expertise. So these are expertise points, little dragons. If you look carefully, it's a little uh, swirling dragon. Uh, oriental style dragon. So like kind of the worm that you see at the parades. Cool things. Uh, we're going to choose physique and it's suggesting I go lumbering or mining or something like that to level those. I will do those, but after we do the physique, I'm actually going to hit the plus sign down here to add one of these uh, expertise points to here. You can do five of them. At any point you want, you can remove them. That's what this unspent expertise points this week is. Um, you can remove one and this number will go down and it'll give you your expertise point back to spend somewhere else. At the end of the week, so I think it's Monday, I think, don't quote me, it's somewhere on Monday when the kind of the day rolls over for the server day, um, I think, I think a midnight uh, GMT, 
um, or UTC, I guess they're using now, uh, the time these resets. Once a week, anyways, it resets. So we're going to go ahead and put all five points in here. So I can click anytime it comes up with a confirm button there. Uh, we can't keep making them, but you can just hit enter. Uh, so that'll improve our physique. Well, what's that doing? If you look at mining, there's expertise right down here, 1x. We look at our physique, it's now 2.93. So as I do mining things, lumbering things, hunting things, or just jumping around, running, sprinting, according to whatever category, if you're doing things that's listed on how to, how to gain pro um, proficiency, for instance, collecting ores, uh, or stone, actually, not just ore, stone counts, um, cutting wood, cutting trees, um, and that's it, like just cutting down trees, uh, hunting animals or butchering them, planting, uh, fertilizing your ground, tilling your soil, all those things. Uh, if you're doing something that is affected by this skill, this tree, you'll be improving the level in it. So the proficiency level, this is important to note for a lot of people don't quite get this, but the skill level is uh, gained by doing actions. The regular level level here, the first thing says in red says level and then required skill level. Uh, the level is your character level. Our dude is, I don't even know what level he is. He's level two and I have to get 136.6 experience accumulated to in order to get to the next level, right? Okay, so um, try to keep less detail mode here. So as I gain levels, I can unlock new things, but I also have to have the corresponding skill in that. So if as I get six or five of these in here, the multiplier for this skill is gonna be 6.0. So it's actually better to go to five than it is to go, the, first, the second two are worth more proficiency than the first ones. Anyways, I babble on. So that's the skill points. We're going to keep doing that. So as I use do anything that uses stamina, Ugh. if you look in the bottom left there, see your physique skill is now two. I'm burning through my stamina by jumping like a lunatic. And it's actually <sighs> increasing my physique skill. Does that make sense? So if I were to be, I guess this is gathering. So this doesn't actually have one. But if I had an axe and I was cutting down a tree, we would see that I was increasing points in, um, in my lumbering skill. Uh, however, uh, we don't have those, so we're going to follow the, uh, the uh, instructions here. We're going to follow the rules. We're going to try to get, generally speaking, over to... Let's go to about here. I think that's where I'll probably set up a little little home away from home for a little bit um, until we move along. So I'm going to just collect like a madman while I talk and read. Uh, the next quest, it says, is to select the expertise. You notice it's green. We've successfully done it. Hit X to finish the quest. Which one is it going to be? That first one. Good. We hit level three. You get a big XP boost for doing these. So just follow the tutorials until you get to like level, I don't know, 15, 16, 20, somewhere in there. Uh, be a good choice. Let's hit X for that one. Now we got to go into our inventory and craft some uh, straw ropes. They're right here. So the inventory and crafting screen, now that it's showing us that, we're going to tutorial this one too. Uh, here's, the, here's the quick rundown. So your inventory is what you carry on the bottom. There's, you can filter it here. You can uh, move all of it. You can hit the sort little sort button here. If you look down at the very bottom, is control these commands right here. Very important. If I want to transfer a single item to a chest, I would hold control, left control, and right click once, and it would transfer it. If I hold alt, it'll do all of them. If I hold shift, it'll do half. So control is one, shift is half, alt is all. Uh, if I click over here, I can uh, double click it, and it'll make one, and this is the little crafting queue. Uh, if I right click, I could click on craft one or I could click on more and I could tell them how many to craft. Uh, by default, if you do this and you hit more, it defaults to half of what you're able to do. If you want to craft them all, just uh, the, that's what this A is here for, you just hit all. Just hit A on your keyboard and it'll craft everything you can of that type. If for any reason you're like, oh crap, that's not what I want to do, just right click this and it'll remove the stack. All right. Next thing we're going to want for sure is going to be, it hasn't told us yet, but I'm going to need an axe and then I'm going to need a hammer right after that. So we'll gather a little more stuff while that happens. Um, I do want to, nice, level, level. Uh, so that's an even numbered level. We hit uh, level four, which gives us another expertise point. So those things we were talking about earlier, we've got another one available. Every two levels, you get one. So use them wisely, not sparingly. Always use them right away uh, for something because you can remove them. You can, or I should say, reallocate uh, them every week and can reallocate five. So later on, that's going to be very important. I'm right now pushing my for my physique growth. The next thing after that I think we'll do is train a couple points in mining, a couple points in lumbering, uh, and probably a couple points into hunting. And then I think after that I'll pick the armor, probably heavy armor. 
as what I'd prefer. There we go, we got enough ropes to finish that. But I think I'll do heavy armor uh, on this character. And uh, I think the goal will be to get that to five expertise points as well, kind of when we reach, I don't know what that would be. Uh, 20-ish, level 20-ish or so. We'll have five in physique. Probably bad math, that's 16. Probably higher than that, actually. We'll start with two. At level 20, we'll have gotten another 10. Presumably. So yeah, we'll need a little more. We'll need probably level 30. 26 or 30, somewhere in there. In order to get to the uh, point where I get kind of all the basics in for what I want to do. Uh, but again, once I get a few hundred points, a few hundred, yeah, a few hundred levels of expertise in, um, into doing, uh, physique, then I can always adjust those out somewhere else and reuse them. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is continue claiming these. There we go, finish that one. Now it's going to be saying to get, uh, some rubble and some branches. We did that already. We crafted an axe. We just have to put the axe that we crafted, it's now here in our inventory, into the hotbar. And we'll do the same thing with the hammer. Lovely. Put the axe into the uh, sidebar. And then I'm going to use the axe by hitting one. And uh, you can see the E on it, that it is already uh, the equipped weapon, or um, tool rather, and smack the daylights out of this tree. So your tiers of equipment, there's bark, which is kind of a specialty material. And then there is branches, then hardwood, then complete wood, and then onwards from there. So each of those is kind of a separate tier of the same sort of thing. There we got some hardwood now. You can see it on the right hand side. And it's adding XP. So that is actual character XP, not proficiency in the tool. All right, let's hit X to finish that job. Uh, we had to do the same thing, but with stone, where's a nice hunk of stone? So we picked up a bunch of stone to give us our first rubble. Uh, and now we're going to activate our hammer. Don't ask me where I'm putting that thing. It's hanging on my back. That's always what it is. Uh, another tip, if you're interested, if I, I'm in order to attack, because we've got the like directional attacks, right? You're actually attacking with your, your harvesting tool. If you want to do it without having to spam the click button, hit B. It's in the bottom right of your screen. You hit B to bring that up. If you hit Control H, you want to clear that uh, crap off your screen, uh, but it's the hotkeys. Control H to bring up your hotkeys. There you go. Boom. A dramatic explosion of wonder. He's just a beast, this little Drake guy. With his epic beard. I mean, his epic beard and his epic braid. He is a beast. I'm going to go ahead and craft up the rest of these to continue that going. Uh, now let's hit X to finish that recipe. So next we've got to learn how to learn new things. So go to the crafting recipe up here. Anytime you see the red dot, it's like on your phone where it's telling you you have 6,592 emails. Tell me, are you the person that gets rid of that? and has no unopened emails, or are you the other person? And there's only two types of people that have, like, thousands of emails that haven't been opened, and the other person has zero emails that haven't been opened. Which type are you? Uh, go to the crafting recipe up here. The crafting recipes, I should say. This is your tech tree, basically. Your personal tech tree. Your, your individual tech tree. Effectively, for all intents and purposes, you can get everything in all the tech trees. You don't have to specialize in this area. You're going to get enough points to, to unlock everything all the time. So does it even say how much it costs to unlock? I don't think it does. Okay, hold on. Recipe points. Learn to make recipes will cost you recipe points, although you will get a certain number of recipe points each time you level up. Please allocate them reasonably. All right then. So this is our coin and this is our recipe points. Let's see. if we This is the one we're supposed to unlock. So if we click on it or double click it and hit confirm, we spent one. Okay, no problem. Uh, these are the building ones. We'll get to those later. Uh, some weapons. Lovely. So we're gonna, I'm going to just unlock everything. Let's just unlock everything that we can right now. All the ones that have the little red dot. There's a bit of armor options. Some structures for constructing our beautiful epic home. It's basically probably just going to be a pile of foundations and doors and whatever else they tell us to make. All right, so that's done. Now we need to craft a campfire. Go ahead in here and look at that. We got a ton of things open up for crafting. We're going to go ahead and make that campfire. I'm also going to try to queue up all the armor. Apparently we don't have quite enough. Probably going to need a little more bark here. That's the wrong tool, lads. Let's put the axe for chopping down a tree instead of trying to beat it down with a, a slightly less sharp hammer. Uh, oh, missed. Uh, I, I think we'll just uh, plop down something right near here, maybe. For our lovely one. Let's see, where are we on the map? Hmm... Okay, we could we could pop across the water maybe. Looking for a spot to set up a very temporary 
little uh, home for us. Da, 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 collect, collect. Always, always be hitting E. Ah, this is clay. If you're interested, this is uh, cool. We will actually go ahead and grab some. Donk, donk. If you notice, we are gaining mining skill for this. Uh, clay, stone, ore. They're all, uh, they're all mining. So, grab a few of these while we're here. Man, he takes his sweet time harvesting this stuff. Make it the last break. There we go. Ah, beautiful little sound effects. Uh, mining level 14. Oh, you're a beast, Drake. A beast. Alright, we're already running out of food because I'm babbling too long. Our physique is 28, though. Yay! Uh, come on. There we go. That's enough. That's enough of that nonsense. Ooh. Level 1 somethings. Oh, those are bunnies. We will leave the bunnies alone for now. Uh, we'll head over... Yo, there's a nice little flat spot right there. Let's go ahead and, uh use that for where we're going to set up. So I'll, I'll throw down a fireplace, maybe uh, set up a little home here temporarily. We can always uh, break it down later. Ah, nice flat spot. There's a bit of a campfire up that way, which is... Uh, oh, stop sprinting, Drake. You're exhausting yourself and making it all go blurry. That is a bunch... a couple, not a bunch of... a couple of vagrants just uh, chilling out, uh, sitting by their campfire. We might be able to hire them, or we might be able to get in a scrap with them. Uh, do note that if you scrap with them, you're going to affect your... Uh, standing with their faction. Let's go ahead and place down the fire, place some or the campfire somewhere. Maybe not in the middle of the deep, tall grass. Start a big bonfire, unbeknownst to me. I'm going to hit sort here, and what it wants us to do is is uh, make some skewered locusts first. So I'm going to take the locusts and drag and drop them there. Or I could alt right click to bring them all over. Uh, we'll shift right click to grab, you know, half these branches. 16 of them is probably hyper overkill. Then you click there and trigger it, and you can see here the temperature is 110 for the fire. Certain food types will require a certain temperature to cook. I don't know if it tells us anywhere in there where that case, where that's the case, but whatever. Mmm, roasted locust. I mean, roasted scorpion and skewered locust. What a delicacy. Uh, I want to continue that quest. Kaboom. Put the fuel in the campfire. Make some, eat some skewered locust to appease your hunger. Well, Drake, this is this is me on a survival game, which means I'm always going to be three quarters of the way starving. Notice we just got some light armor skill. Excellent. And I am just holding E to harvest those. And, uh, this is an actual tree. I like how the uh, the plant make a liar me. Fine. Oh, this isn't the one. Eh, a little bit of a quiver. The uh, one of the particular tr branches types or tree types. The pine needles quiver every time you hit them. It's quite cool. Uh, I'm running this on high settings. I hope it's not going to end up being laggy. There is a much higher ultra settings. Uh, when I stream, I have to drop it a little bit, a couple things down a little bit, just to make it uh, um, more sustainable for stream. There we go. We got two of those. I'm going to drop them right into my hotbar. And then I'll hit 8 to consume the tastiest eat, uh, skewered locusts you ever did try. I know you're, I know you're into those. All right, let's chomp this one. Oh, there you go. See? Three quivers and I hit it. <laughs> it actually looks like it's bouncing. Here. Weird. All right, chomp, chomp. Let's go. Excellent. All right, so we got a power level here. Let's keep going. We've got to eat another one of those to finish that quest. Lovely. Thank you so much. Um, we're supposed to learn pole arms and throwing rocks next, so let's do that. There is our... Wooden spear it wants us to craft, and ten of these. I'm going to click right click and choose more, and I'm going to choose. Okay, I'm not going to choose any of that. Apparently, actually, I'll go ahead and do that. So we'll make two of them. I need to make eight more of those. So let's go knock on some rocks here for a moment. Lovely fire, nice and toasty. There is temperature in the game, but much further out in uh, all the newbie zones on the far right of your map uh, are all going to be fine for temperature wise. The uh, safety of them may vary. I hear, I hear the forest is, has a few uh, few more wolves in it than other places, perhaps. But we shall see. Or you might want to see. I don't. I don't feel like getting hit by, by the local wolf. Physique. So that was a uh, pop-up saying I yeah. reached a particular point, so 50 points. You get different... Um, uh, different rewards for the, for, for reaching those. And uh, merit, I guess it's called. We'll get into that later. 
Uh, still need to make eight more of those things. How many can I make? That is 16. Okay. Let's make... Uh, it did make one. There's another eight. Good. Make that grab a bit more rocks while that's happening. Uh, so next thing I want to do is uh, prepare for um, a building, I think. I think we need to make the other piece of armor as well. I don't think we made our boots. Let's finish this rock off and then see what our boots are going to cost us. I, there we go. The greaves are available. Excellent. Cue that up. Uh, I think we should probably grab some more trees next. I don't think I've got enough uh, wood for the upcoming build. It's going to cue us to do specific things as we go forward. There we go. Unlock the gear. We just need to be able to put those greaves on that we oh, finished in 23 seconds. Excellent. Uh, we're getting some different missions. Some of those will be side quests as well. Oh, you get lumbering for just gathering these trees, do you? Wait a second. Really? I did not expect that. We're not getting lumbering for gathering this, though, are right? We are. Really? Okay. Did not know that. So you get lumbering for gathering grass stuff, too. Hmm. There you go. I can learn, too. All right, we're supposed to go hunt a rabbit or other animal to get meat. All right, sounds good to me. Now let's have a look at... Our weapons of choice. There's my spear. I want that in there. I also can make an air a bow and a bunch of arrows. So I'm gonna start making some of those. Four arrows. What else is what's missing for more arrows? Rope. Okay, let's always, always want to keep queuing up the rope. How much did I just queue? 27 straw rope. Good idea. Totally fine with that. Uh let's grab that and have a nice tasty bit of scorpion. Put our uh, bow down in there, and we'll put the greaves on. Lovely. I'm all equipped off to, ooh, the foxes and the bunnies. Oh, you stealthy little bunny. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit faster. Catch up. Oh, oh, the, oh, it was censored. The tree censored the damage. You see that? The tree censored it. A very kind tree. All right, I'm going to crouch down here and, pardon me, excuse me. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, look away. Look away, ye faint of heart. Alright. There we go. We got what we needed. We didn't even have to watch it, huh? How kind of me. Alright, there we go. We got our rabbit. We got level 10. Another expertise point, which I said to make sure you keep spending. And of course, I didn't spend it. We now have three of them. So I'm a dork. Uh, go to physique, and we'll add one more into there. Excellent. We're now making 6x multiplier on the physique. We're rocking that one. Let's go with the lumbering next. We're putting one point into there. And I'll put one point into farming as well, or into mining as well. I want one more in each of those, and then a couple points into hunting, and then we'll move on to uh, probably our armor development after that. So that quest is finished. Let's see. We, oh, right. We, it was just the quest I just hit X on was make a marker on the map somewhere. I did that at the beginning. Uh, how are we doing on time? I'm looking for about half hour episodes here and just play through the early stage of the game straight through. So we're going to go roast up some meat at the campfire. Sounds lovely. Let's go do that. And then I think we'll probably have to we'll have to get to level 12 as quick as possible here so I can get us uh, um, so I can get us the new tools to make look at all those locusts. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. There's our meat. 11 meat. So I'm going to grill that first. At level 12 you can get the uh, probably one of the most important early game tools which is the side. But also you can get a, or sickle rather, but also you can get a, uh, what are they called? A butcher's knife, um, hunting knife, which is for chomping up corpses more effectively than we just did. I just use the axe. It's very, very ineffective in gathering parts of animals. Uh, some grilled meat is being made. Oh, come on. Let me get it. There you go. Just had to get that, pull that tree that's out from that rock. A little weird, but that happens. Let's grab, uh, let's grab another rock while we're here. Smash up one. Got to keep the resources coming in. Uh, that meat should be crafted back home. Physique's hit 70s. Mining's in the 30s. It's going well. It's going well, I think. Let's eat another one of those. Oh, we have no more locusts, no more food at all to eat. All right, then. Back to the fireplace. Yeah, I think this would be a nice place to lay down a, an early, easy base. Late armor skill gaining. Lovely. Uh, there's our grilled meat. Let's throw that in the slot there. 
We got everything queued up here, so I probably need to throw a little more fire uh, and a little more wood on the fire. Uh, okay, next, that's finished. Go ahead and make a shield now. Okay, did we unlock it? We did, but we need some more branches. I just threw them all in the fire. Let's go hack up a tree or ten. Uh, see what we can get out of that. Now, with the uh, new point into physique, we should actually be okay with uh, our gain of lumbering skill. There's 64. Excellent. Every action doesn't always yield resources. Um, but kind of like the cool. arc version, it, I think it's arc that does that. Maybe Conan. Um, the amount that you gathered recently, like we've got saying how many branches we have there, that number is just accumulative until it until we stop collecting it for a while. It'll fade away. We wait for it. It'll disappear, and then it'll start counting again, saying, "Oh, you, there you go. You got two more branches, and now five. It didn't just give me five more branches and seven. More. It's giving me cumulatively." I was like, "What? This is not the numbers I'm actually getting." First time I saw it, I was very confused. Let's go ahead and make that shield that they want us to make. Did, oops, did I do it? I did. Excellent. And now I know I'm going to need some other stuff, so I want to go ahead and queue up a bunch more arrows, um, smack down a few more trees. Probably don't need the hardwood ones to be honest, but get my face right into this thing here. There we go. The shield crafting is done. Yes, arrows are in the making. So we'll let them keep crafting while we gather a bit of stuff. Like I said, this is going to be a uh, the first three to five episodes are going to be. Very solo play, doing our tutorials, getting ourselves up to level 20, 25, somewhere in there. 20, 22. 20 really starts to dry. Like, real thick. Um, you'll want to spend time doing things other than trying to watch your level bar go up after you hit about 20. Uh, it gets pretty grindy, but there's always so many things to be doing in this game. Which I think is a, is a testament to its potential long playability for people. Craft skill of 47. So that craft skill will be the thing that will affect, like, your making of weapons and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, don't don't hesitate to always be trying to make some rope or some some something. Arrows, great one to do if you're, uh, if you like hunting. Oh, another spot. Let's go ahead and craft up a bunch more of those. Keep closing it. I think I'm closing it too quickly. Level 11? How close are we to level 12? We're three quarters of the way to the next level. Excellent. Got a few things going on, so let's go ahead back and grab our fire. We're about to finish this quest, so we'll head back towards the fireplace. Now all we have to do, now that we've got our bow down here, is just drag the arrows onto it to choose what arrow type to use. Excellent. Now we got to go hunt an animal. We could do so with our bow, or our spear, or a combination of both. Uh, let's see. I just about tried to use my my soup. We'll see the soup later, but um, it lets you find creatures really quickly. Among other things, it lets you find metals. Let's just wander and gather as we do until I find an animal to be mean to. Um, scanning. Yeah, there's something sitting down there. Uh, oh, here we go. Some foxes. All right. There's too many of them there. There's three of them there. That might be a bit too much of a fight. What do you think? Grab some dinner. See, I think we're going to get all three of them if we do this. We're definitely going to get all three of them. Alright, bow time. Yep. Yeah, all three. Okay, back to the spear. Ooh, ouch, ouch, get off me. Oh, dodge. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, we got time your attacks. They're gonna team up with me. Oh, that hit all of them. Like the spear can like. Oh, that that hit me. They all hit me that time. There's one down. Oh. Ow! Ow! My health. Oh. Go down with you, creature. Phew. Well, that was awkward. All right, not quite level twelve yet. I need to be level twelve. Let's not gather that dude. So, we got it, we killed him, we get a level. Excellent, there's level 12. Okay, so we're supposed to create a bedroll, but we'll come back to that quest in a moment. The thing I want to do is go in here and unlock the tool expertise. Best 
freaking tool ever. Uh, this one gives you the fishing rod. This one gives you your uh, linen and spinning wheel. This one is the sickle for hyper-gathering uh, your grass stuff and the hunting knife. So let's go ahead and start with the hunting knife. Craft one of those. Craft a sickle. Happy days. Drake's a happy camper. We're supposed to make a bedroll, so let's do that. We're also going to want a territory map. Or map. There, that's a map. A flag is the map of the territory. Deep philosophy time, guys. Um, we want that knife. It's another it's 15, 20 seconds. Let's not waste time. Let's start hacking a tree while we do that. Polearm skill of a whopping level 12. Man, I am a grandmaster pole armor. Pole armor? Pole arm? Pole armor? That's not how it works. Uh, health's going to go back up as your health regenerates. That's going to be... Uh, Pulling down your food as your stamina regenerates, that will also pull down your food. So if you want to save on food, just walk around places. Don't don't run, don't sprint, don't jump. But of course, then you won't be gaining uh, physique, right? Let's grab that knife and harvest. It's going to give us a lot more resources. Yeah. Apparently this wolf, that, that fox, was entirely a skeletal fox. He was only made of bone. There we go, got a bit of horse hide, some meat from that one. Excellent. The higher the level they are, the more you're going to harvest from them. These level, like, lobby little nothings are going to give us very little material. All right, now let's have a look at this magical sickle. Notice how the red X is on these. What's going on there is the tools actually go on your back. Three and four are the only places you can put long weapons, like your spear and your bow. So you won't be able to carry around a glaive, a spear, a bow, and three heavy two-handed axes on your, on your hotbar to swap between them as you go. That's not a thing here. Uh, you've got uh, three spots on your hips. So this one, this one, and this one, and uh, three and four. So let's see if I could zoom out a bit. Yeah, I've got one on my left hip. I've got two things attached to my lower back, and I've got the two crisscrossing on my back. That's that's all you can carry for tools. Um, later we'll get different different things that will allow us to get it, to carry more actual mass. In fact, our physique skill probably is already high enough to unlock that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm really cranking through the food. When I when you train this physique and you're constantly sprinting and constantly jumping around and stuff, yeah. early on, you just blast through your food. So you yeah. might not want to if you don't have uh, yeah. an early source of a few uh, foxes or wolves. or fo not wolves. Yeah. Wrong idea. Foxes or... Uh, oh, I can't swim and swing my sickle. See, now I'm punching it. I put my weapon back. Can't swim and fight with your weapons. Yeah. Make you a kung yeah. fu master. And just punch things when you're in the water. You'll be invincible. I right, made that bed roll. Excellent. Ensure safety. Build a home. Okay, yeah. we're going to build a home. Level 13 already. Watch how much resources, how quickly we get the resources off this. Just chomp chomp. Super quick. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Look at it. Yeah. Look at that. We got some wildflowers, a bunch of wildflowers, a bunch of locusts there. Even these uh, these little pines are actually, they yield grass, so you can use it on them as well. So. Pretty quick, lots of stuff. All right, so we're at about the uh, the half hour mark here when uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be, and these are going to be out daily. Tomorrow's episode is going to be about uh, getting our first little home built. Um, I'll probably gather a little bit of stuff. We might skip a level or two of just pure gathering. I won't go through any of the quests or anything cool. without you guys, uh, but I think I'll cool. just gather maybe this chunk of woods sort of thing around here just to get some materials so yeah. we can have a little less grind during the actual video. There will be lots of grinding on this as uh, you can expect this to not be a hy hyper uh, edited uh, walkthrough. I'm gonna try to tell you everything about the game as I know it and as we go. And hopefully that's something that's uh, gonna feel valuable for you guys, entertaining at least, time wasting if nothing else. Uh, I promise to be able to uh, babble at least a half an hour a day for you uh, on this game. And that's the, uh, that's the end of my ask. Uh, that's what you can expect. So thank you everybody so much for joining me. If you did enjoy things and you want to see more, please do hit that like button. I really would appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if there are ideas or hints or tips or anything you've got. Please let me uh, let me know and spread the love. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, English language tutorials on this stuff and uh, lots of tips and tricks and lots of streams. Uh, but I'm not finding a lot of just daily playthrough sort of content where you're full playing through the stuff. So hopefully that is a, a niche that we can fill here and everybody can enjoy along the road as we go. Uh, thank you everybody though so much for joining me. If you do want to see more, again, let me know. And we'll see you in game.